106? Let's see. Ray said it one day. My goodness, that, that is quite a lot. I'm glad you still have a favorite teacher. Um, when I was in second grade, how old are you when you're in second grade? It's been so long I don't remember. Seven, seven. seven or eight? Yeah. Actually, this was first grade then, so it would be what, five and six? Yeah. Okay, so listen, I had a teacher then. I went to uh, St. Mary's of the Mount. Uh, it was a School. Was it nice? Oh, it was very nice. nice. And back then, you had nuns that taught most of the mm -hmm. classes. Uh, there were some priests there, but mainly I remember them being in the cafeteria to keep you under control <laughs> when you're eating. But there was this one music teacher that I had. And usually what would happen is when you had music is you would go to her class for probably like 30 to 40 minutes and then you go back to your regular class. <coughs> My father had passed away when I was four or five. So this was like the first year after that. And for some reason, I stayed in her class like all day, every day. And that shouldn't have happened, but they understood what the circumstances were. And the other nuns let uh, me go. My brother, who was a year ahead of me, he also had one favorite teacher. And he would stay pretty much around her. And we were able to do that for that whole school year. I just want to tell you that this lady, she was, I don't remember any of the other nuns with the exception of her. I do remember this one other nun because she, when you're in first grade, people always look like they're like eight feet tall because you're so short. <laughs> But there was this one woman there, and she was huge, and she was scary. And I remember her because she did what she said, because if you didn't, bad consequences. But anyway, this music teacher, number one, she loved music. And I can remember that I just like to hear her sing, because she had such a pretty uh, voice. And she also was very nurturing. Is that what it means? Nurturing. Yeah. Loving. She gave really good hugs. Like you. Like you. Yeah, that's right. You give really good hugs too. And I can remember that I spent a lot of time just sitting by her, just listening to her sing. Now listen, when my class left, other classes came in. I just stayed there. 
And she let me do that for an entire school uh, year. Uh, and I can remember that after that year, I had her still as a music teacher, but uh, I didn't need to stay in her class. But she was always really friendly, really nice. So realize this, that when you go to school, you're always going to have favorite teachers, teachers that are nice to you. There's a reason why they're your favorites. Uh, but realize that there are children in your class that for some reason, whatever it is, maybe the other kids don't like them. They don't get uh, a lot of attention. And that you can be friends with them. You know what I'm saying? And you can do something like what this music teacher did for me. That during that time in my life, she, uh, she really showed me what Christ's love really was. And I needed it. And she did it. Yes? What does it remind you of? You lost it, didn't you? Yeah. How old are you? Did <laughs> <laughs> it come back yet? No. <laughs> listen, everybody in the room can say amen to that because we all do. So listen, what I'm telling you is that, number one, be nice to your teachers, okay? Number two, the ones that are your favorite ones, let them know they're your favorites because being a teacher is a really hard job. Also, when you're there at school, Try to be friends with the kids that don't seem to have a lot of friends. Okay? You've got to get. Yeah, what was it? Are you his friend? Yeah, but here's the thing. Miss Riley, we really had to talk to the class. See, and nobody, nobody likes to be left out or mistreated. And if that happens to you when you're young and it continues to happen to you and you grow into an adult, it makes it very hard to be a part of a society, go to work every day, and interact with people. So like I said, you can have life-changing effects on kids your age and in your class if you treat them well and treat them with Christ's love. Okay? What? What was the title of your five-paragraph essay? Teaching is a work of art. Let me ask you a question. Is five paragraphs... Is that a lot? Yeah. Okay, so much. Oh, no, yeah, that is a lot then. All right. Okay, so listen, we got to get back on with the service. So we've got to send you some your seats, okay? But thank you. You always send you good kids.